How was that experience in Germany, though? Because it's one thing to be a player that goes over there, but as you said, you're bringing a wife, you're bringing kids, and yes, they're leaving friends they made here in Texas, but there's not a lot of five-year-olds that get to say they lived in Germany for a year or an extended period of their time. So what was that experience like for you guys last year? Yeah, I don't know if I could fit that into a, a one interview. It was it was like a blessing. It was a blessing in disguise. It was obviously we did not want to leave Texas. It was the last thing I wanted to do was to leave Texas. But getting the experience to go to Germany with my kids and my wife and, and the, the travel and the hockey and just everything that we got to do when we were there was so far out of my comfort zone and it opened my eyes to all sorts of things and places that I want to travel to in the future and, and my kids uh, my two daughters they both went to school in Germany and by the end of the year they were somewhat speaking German and so it was a really really cool ex- experience for us and just kind of simplifying our life we we went from you know living in the house that we lived in Cedar Park with four bedrooms and plenty of space to living in a three bedroom apartment that was probably about the size of your normal two bedroom in in texas so we got to know each other really well in tight quarters and just made the best of it have you started the the house hunt to the apartment hunt now that you're coming back or can you jump into your old place because that's another lifestyle change for sure and and with kids that changes your entire life so it's yes we we've found the house that we're going to stay in and avery will start school at the end of august so it's kind of now it's just we're living in alberta this summer close to my wife's family and she's working here but i'd say 85 percent of our stuff is in my parents basement in chicago so it's a bit of a logistical challenge that how we're going to move the family of five back down to cedar park but it's it's challenging it's a challenge that we we're welcoming and and we got pretty much everything in place now it's just kind of finalizing a couple flights and and things like that to get stuff back down to cedar park what did mo say when you told him you were coming back uh, Mo, as you know, is a, a man of few words, so it was it was through text message, and he obviously was excited. We have a pretty good relationship, dating way way back, and you know we're friends on and off the ice, and and enjoy each other's company. So it's I think it's good. And then our kids now they were friends then, but I think it'll be even more so now that they're a little bit older. So it's really good. What's the first food you guys go and get when you're back in the uh, Texas state lines? Oh, you don't even know how many conversations we've had about that. My wife is coming. Me and my wife are coming down sometime mid-August without the kids to kind of set the house up so there's not so much chaos when we all move down together. But, yeah, uh, Lupe's and and uh, Chewy's and, you know, like the Witchies were else, Rudy's, and we like Steiner Ranch for a fancy dinner. So we, we got our whole list of Texas food that definitely they didn't have in Germany, so we're pretty excited for that. That's good. You're in your mid 30s, so shove all that in your body two weeks, three weeks before training camp. Oh yeah, I'm on a complete healthy diet kick right now, preparing for that week. So that's what I'm building up to. How's your body holding up? You had to deal with a bit of a concussion issue towards the end of your last season in Texas, but you have a full year in Germany under your belt. You are hitting your mid 30s overall. How's the body holding up entering the grind? I, I can't complain. I, uh, the concussion uh, back with, with with Texas was by far probably one of the most difficult and worst ex- experiences in my career, for sure. It was a long recovery, but playing last season, there was a couple minor minor things, but nothing serious. And then the the game in Germany was it's it's a different game over there, and you only play two games a week, so it, it was kind of a you know a reset year for me. It was nice. It's, uh, the travel is a little bit easier and so I'm looking forward but at the same time I, I miss the grind I missed playing games two or three or four a week like uh, any player I think will tell you that they'd rather be playing games and practicing so I, I kind of missed I missed playing that amount of games so I'm looking forward to that are you nervous at all about making the transition back to a North American ice surface you have less space as you said it's more games but also it's going to be a more physical game uh, in terms of the toll on the body are you, are you nervous about that transition at all? No I, I wouldn't say nervous it's obviously it might be a small adjustment period but I feel at this this stage in my career I've played so long that I honestly I really didn't notice that big of a difference going overseas as everyone told me I was going to the big ice was going to be so much bigger but uh, once you're out there and the game's happening it's it's such a fast-paced game that you, you, your instincts just kind of take over again 
All right, man. Well, I know uh, I'm sure you got plenty of messages from fans and friends. I know you're excited to come back, but uh, Texas Stars fans are certainly glad to have you back. So good to talk to you for a bit, man. Thanks for doing this. Yeah, no problem. I just want to I really extend our gratitude for my whole family at the outreach on social media from all the Texas Stars fans and past players and current players. It, it's been amazing. It, it really makes us feel good and welcomed, and we're, we can't wait for the season to get started.